when you're hunting caribou, you're generally going to the highest point in the tundra that you can find and you're gonna glass. And you're basically looking for animals coming across the tundra. And if you can spot a herd or a group of caribou moving, generally they're leaving a scent trail on the ground and other caribou are gonna follow. So if you see a group of 10 caribou go through an area, Typically, if you can get close to that area and get set up, another group will eventually go through there. That's barren ground caribou on. We're sitting up in a perfect spot to just glass a huge area. And here comes a bull out of nowhere. No reason to walk by us. There's no trails up here, but here he comes. I get ready, get in position. I don't know what he saw. He must have saw me move, but he locked up at 72 yards. I don't want to make that kind of shot. But he starts to skirt around the edge of this hill. And then there's a cow down here. I get over here. It's too far. It's a long shot, and and they booger away. That's what makes it tough. There's just really nothing to hide behind, you know. If it was easy, everybody'd be doing it. We'll take another chance and, and we'll just see if another big bull comes by. Eventually, one afternoon, we saw this bull and he would run from this water hole to that water hole, across the tundra over here, back over there. And it, we ended up naming him Crazy Alice because he was crazy, he was just running everywhere. But he in turn runs all the way down and goes into this big cut. And we watch him go into the cut, but he never came out. So we hurried around, got down the hill, and started stalking on this caribou. Now I don't know if he's still in the cut or not, but we're just moving really, really slow, nice and easy. And all of a sudden my cameraman, Chris Douglas, he spots this caribou in this cut. Now I didn't even see him. And he goes, over there. And as soon as I look, I see this caribou coming up out of this cut. Yes! Alaskan, barren ground caribou. <laughs> These caribou are crazy up here. I've seen a lot of good shooter bulls, but they're just running everywhere. And they won't run in any particular pattern. Set up here, you see them over there. You try to stalk over there, they run over here. It's just crazy. Let's give him a few minutes and we'll go see him. He was right down here in this mud hole. Look at the caribou tracks. Caribou tracks in here everywhere. It's like they're coming down in here and rolling in this mud to get out of the bugs. Look at the prints all in here. You come right up through here, right up on top. I made my shot about 30 yards right here. Here's my arrow. Perfect pass through. Let's go find him. He didn't go 100 yards, he's right there. <laughs> There's water everywhere around here in these low spots. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. Barren ground caribou from Alaska. <laughs> He's got a small double shovel. He's got nice bezes. He's got decent tops in full velvet. <laughs> you know, it's great to be out here in the Arctic Circle of Alaska for barren ground caribou. You're set up in a tent. They fly you out in a bush cub. And when you can get on the ground and you can spot and stalk and have a good time, there's Arctic grizzly up here and plenty of caribou. We made the shot, we got one, and I just love bow hunting, this is why. Look at this nice caribou. <laughs> Barren ground caribou is getting more difficult to hunt, more difficult to find a good place. My particular animal did not make Pope and Young. You have to get 325 inches net on a Barren ground caribou to make Pope and Young, and that's a big caribou. So I probably will go back and try for another one, but I just love to hunt caribou and it, it's a good place to go up there, Porcupine Mountains.